Today, Monroe County's Office of Public Integrity released findings into the misuse of federal funds. It involves the Neighborhood Collaborative Project and the Community Resource Collaborative. County leaders cut off funds to that initiative in February. Dan Gross attended the news conference about those findings and spoke to a local legislator. He joins us now in the studio with the details. Dan. Teresa, in short, the OPI report found many inconsistencies and potential for fraud throughout a number of the 12 organizations in the NCP. The report cleared the county of any violations. That's according to Executive Adam Bellow. Legislator Rachel Barnhart says this validates her concerns. In February, Monroe County cut all ARPA funding from the Community Resource Collaborative. That group was acting as the fiduciary for the Neighborhood Collaborative project. The funding cut cited, quote, fiscal mismanagement. The county eventually disbursed over $20,000 to CRC. An audit and today's report from the Office of Public Integrity took it one step further, citing many issues, says County Executive Adam Bellow. Most concerning... The OPI investigation found questionable submissions of potentially fraudulent expenses from a few of the NCP partner agencies. In May, the county severed ties with the CRC. The NCP is now no more. Bell declined to speculate on any intent as the OPI report has been submitted to the FBI and the AG's office. But Bell highlighted Cameron Community Ministries, saying that the report found that the executive director asked for funds to subcontract to a company that was made by her husband that would then pay family and people who were out of state. The report recommended that all funding be ceased to Cameron Community. On the whole, Bellow said that, quote, a few bad actors caused all of this. Monroe County legislator Rachel Barnard has been warning of these issues for months and believes the FBI will investigate the county. It shows that Monroe County ignored a lot of red flags in awarding this contract and ignored red flags when it became clear there were problems. Barnhart says this financial mismanagement is still hurting the community. Bellow said this today of the remaining funds. And so the dollars that were originally uh, allocated to the NCP were reallocated to other programs uh, uh, that were approved by the county legislature. I have reached out to Olivia Kasuma Madu, the executive director of Cameron Community Ministries, and I haven't heard back yet. We'll hear more from Legislator Barnhart next hour. Reporting the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.